Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set up OBS Studios. We'll go through things like setting up scenes, adding different sources, recording your desktop, having that little circle image of yourself in the corner, the best settings for high quality video and audio, as well as how to connect your iPad. This guide is meant for complete beginners that want to you know, watch this video and be able to set up a high quality production studio using just OBS Studios. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is to download OBS uh, Studios and you'll go to obsproject.com. Uh, you'll select your operating system. So since I'm on Mac, I would select this and you download it. Very simple. From there on, you're gonna have to get some equipment, especially if you want to uh, you know, connect a DSLR camera and you'll want to get the Camlink 4K. This is the one that I recommend. I've tried cheaper options and they don't work nearly as well. But basically your DSLR will connect to a cable which will connect to this and this is going to connect directly to your computer. If you don't need to connect a DSLR, then your life is gonna be a lot more simple. But yeah, here I have OBS uh, Studios pulled up. You guys can see that I've already created a bunch of scenes. I have sources added in. But first, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the settings that you need to make OBS work. So you'll come here to settings over here. You'll go to video first and what we're gonna do is we're going to choose your base canvas resolution. If you guys want to record in 4K, then you'll choose 3840 by 2160 and you want to make the output scaled resolution the exact same if you guys don't need to you know film in 4k you guys can do you know 1080p then you'll choose 1920 by 1080 and you'll have that for both of these for the downscale filter i choose to use this one it seems to work really well and for the frames per second i choose to do 30 frames per second but you guys can choose whichever one you want to do for your audio i like to you know keep these as default 48 kilohertz for global audio devices i disable all these and then for output this is really important you're going to play around with your streaming settings here and if you want to change the recording settings you'll play with those right here I actually made a dedicated video showing you guys how to record really high quality video so i'll link that uh, down below but just to go through it really quickly i set my output mode to advanced i set the recording path so i have all my stuff recording to an external ssd drive with a folder called obs i set the recording format as mp4 but you guys can also use you know mov if you want i set the encoder as apple vt h264 hardware encoder and you guys might not have that if you don't have an M series or M1, M2 uh, Mac. So if you don't, you guys can use X264 or if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, there's going to be an option called like NVENC or something like that. And I would recommend using that one. I set the bit rate as 60,000 kilobytes per second. This is going to mean that you're recording really, really high quality video, but it's going to be pretty taxing on your computer. So you guys can make this lower if you want. Keyframe interval one and then profile none and yes, use B frames. So after all that, you're going to click apply and you're going to click OK. So this is basically where you're going to create different scenes so you guys can see uh, i have my main camera on right now uh, i have desktop so obviously if you want to you know record the desktop you guys can do that here you have your ipad so this is my ipad connected i have desktop plus camera so this is that little circle here and i have a uh, ipad plus cam so Pretty cool, right? What you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create all these or whichever ones you need. So you'll click plus right here. You'll name it. So we'll say test camera, okay? It's gonna create a new scene and you'll see that you don't have any sources in that scene yet. So now we're gonna click the plus sign right here. And if you do have a camera you want to you know, uh, set as the scene, you're gonna come here to video capture device. So this is going to be able to select that cam link uh, and the DSLR camera we have connected. I have some existing ones, but if I were to create a new one, let's say we set this as the uh, main camera and I'll, yes, make source visible, yes, and I'll click okay. So now we'll be able to actually uh, choose the properties for main camera. Here you're gonna click device and you'll choose whichever one you want to be in the scene. So we'll click Camlink 4K. This is gonna be our main camera for the preset resolution. Since I am filming 4K, I'll click uh, this one and I'll click okay. So here you can actually, you know, drag, uh, to change the size of the video. Let's say if you wanna have multiple sources, you can have your camera here or maybe in the center or down here, whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna make this full screen, so I'll just drag it to fill the entire screen. And of course, you're gonna to want to have some type of audio input too, right, if you're talking to the camera. So I'm gonna click plus again. I'm gonna click audio input capture. Here I'm gonna select, uh, I'm gonna create a microphone. Okay, I'll be able to change the properties and select which device. So I have uh, all my audio running through the Scarlett Focusrite. If you have a USB microphone, you'll probably see USB mic here. Uh, so just select that. For me, I'm gonna click that and I'll click okay. So now you'll see that in this scene, 
uh, I have my main camera and I have my microphone. So whenever I you know, record this scene, it's gonna be exact, it's gonna look exactly like this. And yes, you will be able to hear me. If you do wanna start recording, you'll click start recording right here. And that's going to you know begin recording uh, the camera. Now, if you want to create some other scenes, you'll come here and you'll click plus again. Let's say I want to record uh, my desktop. So we'll say desktop test for the video. Okay. We don't have anything in these sources. And what I recommend doing is actually coming here to test camera, the one that we just did. I'll select a microphone, right click on it, and I'm going to copy. This is just going to make your life a little bit easier because we're going to come here. We'll right click and we'll uh, click paste. So bam, we have that microphone there already. This way you don't need to, you know, go through the hassle of clicking plus and then all that stuff again. So since we're trying to add the desktop, uh, we're going to click plus here. You're going to come to display capture. We'll set it as a test. Okay. Okay. And it's going to allow you to actually um, select the display. This is my current one. Crop we will set as none. Okay. And then here you're going to be able to drag to, sh uh, you know, set how much you want recorded. So I'm going to drag it so that it records this much. Sorry, I know it looks kind of weird, but yeah, basically just drag this red thing until you are comfortable with how it looks. And yeah, that's going to be your desktop recording. Let's say we also want to do a desktop recording, but we want to have our uh, video down here at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I'll come here. I'm going to duplicate it. We'll set this as desktop test with camera. Okay, now we have another scene here. We have this, these sources already selected since we duplicated it. But the only thing we're gonna do is we're going to add in that you know, camera down here. So what you're gonna do is plus video capture device. Let's say circle test. Okay, we're gonna select the device. So we'll do the cam link 4K. This preset we'll set as 4K and we'll click Okay, right, so I could have done that by just coming to here and actually just copying that over, but I just showed you guys again. And what we're gonna do here is you'll click on this, you'll go to filters. We're gonna click plus in effect filters. You're gonna come here to image mask slash blend, select round, you'll select alpha mask alpha channel. You're gonna actually upload or browse and go to the file that I'm gonna actually put in the description. So that's basically gonna be like this circle PNG thing and you're gonna select that and you'll upload it here and yeah after that you'll uh, apply it but let me show you what it looks like since I don't want to do that right in here I'm actually gonna come here to desktop plus cam this is one that I already have I'll show you the filters here so this is the round filter um, you'll see that it's gonna be called webcam circle PNG so you'll browse there and basically you'll uh, apply that but that's what it's going to look like for now I'm just going to copy this or I'm gonna copy the filters and and I am going to come here, right click, and I'm going to paste filters. So you guys can see this is what it looks like right now. Of course, we want to change the size. So you're going to come up here and drag it. And basically you can choose whatever size you want to do. I like to put it sort of like in the very corner, bam, like that. And yeah, now you have the scene where you can actually show your desktop and have you in the bottom uh, right corner. So that's basically how you do that. If you want to add another scene with an iPad, very similar. Um, you're just going to show you that real quick. iPad test. Man. So we want to bring over our microphone, right? Copy, paste. We'll want to cl click the plus button. We'll want to um, actually go to video capture device. We'll say iPad. Okay. We're going to choose the device. So I have my iPad connected. Uh, via just the normal cable to the USB on my uh, computer. I'll click iPad. I'm going to set the iPad resolution and OK. And if you want to, you know, play with this, you guys can do that. But basically, that's how it looks. And that's your iPad scene, right? So if you want to do this also with the camera, you will right click this, duplicate it, iPad test with camera. So we've created a new scene like that. And we're basically going to come here to a desktop test with camera right click here copy and paste that in right here so now we have another scene uh, where we can actually you know show what we do on our ipad and have you in the corner as well so very cool uh, i recommend definitely you know copy and pasting just to save time and also it's going to make it exactly the same because if you were to you know create this circle thing again probably your placement would be a little bit different so you want to have that the same for all of your different scenes. But yeah, that's basically how you set up OBS. So I'll bring myself back to the desktop. 
or actually I'll bring it back to the main camera so you can see me. And yeah, when you want to record, you'll click uh, start recording. If you want to start streaming, you can click that. And that is how you set up OBS Studios and create scenes and add sources. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, you can feel free to reference it at any time. Overall, I think OBS Studios is a really awesome program and I use it pretty heavily in my workflow. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos just like this. We do a ton of tutorial and how-to videos on this channel. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.